This is the Quantum Loop by Ortega. It is a combination of a multi-digital percussion stomp box and a loop station. Let's have an overall overview. At first plug in your 9V DC power supply into the pedal. You can connect your instrument into the input. At the end take a cable connected to the output and from there to your PA system or your amplifier. The layout is very simple. On the one side you can hit the pedal, here can you engage the samples. On the other side this is the control surface, here you can control which sound is engaged and the loop station. The quantum loop has two sound banks, bank A and B. At the moment no sound is engaged. Let's start turning bank A on while switching the A switch. You see the lights are turned on, now bank A is activated. At the moment bank A is activated. Maybe you want now to hear the sounds from bank B. You can activate bank B while switching the B switch. You see, now the lights from bank B are turned on and the B section is activated. Each sound bank has 8 individual percussion samples. There's also the option that you can later upload 2 personal sounds per each bank. So you can upload your own samples. Let's hear the sounds of bank A, so switch the A switch one more time. Make sure before you hit the pedal that the volume for the percussion sounds is set up. This is the first sound of bank A. Maybe you hear there are dynamics while I'm playing. There's for this reason a switch on the left side called dynamics. Hit it up and you have no dynamics for playing. Now they are set up at 70%. Let's hear all sounds from bank A. Sound 2 is now activated. Next sound. Now we are going to hear the sounds of bank B. Let's activate bank B while hitting the B switch. The lights on bank B are turned on and the B side is activated. Let's hear the first sound. Hit the B switch in order to hear the next sound.
These are all factory sounds. Maybe you want to play both sound banks at the same time. For this reason, there's a second available pedal for the quantum loop called expression trigger pedal. This pedal is an active circuit, so you need a 9 volt battery block in order to power it. Now I'll show you how you connect this pedal to your quantum loop. On the left side of the trigger pedal, there's an output. Take a short patch cable, connect the output to the trigger input of the quantum loop, which is next to your instrument input. After I connect the cable, the right side, bank B, is activated. Now you are able to play both sounds at the same time. The left side of the quantum loop is now activated for bank A. The right side, bank B, is activated for the trigger pedal. Now you are able to play both sounds at the same time. Now I'm going to show you how you can upload your own samples into the quantum loop. At first, plug in the power supply in order to turn the pedal on. After a few seconds, the pedal is on. As next, take the USB out and connect a USB cable to your computer and to the USB out of the quantum loop. After you connect your quantum loop to the USB in of the computer, the lights will change like this. At first, open up the Ortega Quantum Loop 40 software while making a right click with your mouse and going to Open as Administration. Now say OK. And the Quantum Loop software is open up as Administration. Now go to product list and open up Ortega Quantum Loop and say connect. Now your Quantum Loop is connected to the software. Now you are able to upload your own samples on bank A and bank B or making firmware updates. So start with bank A sample upload. My first personal sample is a sound which I recorded with my voice. It says ah. So I go to select, go to my sample site, which is here, and go to ah. I open it up, say open. Now you can check if the sample is the right one with the play button. Click play to check it. Ah. Perfect. So my ah sample is the right one. As next, go to Upload. Now my sample is uploaded to Personal One from Bank A. As next, I take a second sample, which is my Personal Two on Bank A, go to Select, go to the next sound, which is my door in this case, open it up, Let's check it. Perfect, that's my door. Say Upload. If you don't want to hear the sample, you can go to Erase. So now I check it's the right one. I uploaded it. Now go to Bank B and upload another sample. This is a gong. Let's open it. Let's hear it. Yeah, that's a gong. Now I'm going to upload it. Click Upload. Wait a few seconds. And now my sample is uploaded. One more time for the last sample part. That's a splash symbol. Let's open it up. Let's hear it. Perfect, that's the splash sound. 
open it up to upload it. Upload the sample. Say OK. If you want to upload the sample, the maximum size is 260 kilobytes or 5 seconds long. It could be supported MP3 or WAV format. If you're ready with the complete software update or uploading your samples, you go to the USB out and say disconnect and then close the software. Then you are done and we can hear the samples. Well, now I upload my samples and I want to check if everything is working. I turn the pedal one more time on and connect the output to my amplifier. At first I go to activate the left side A and I'm going now down and select the personal sound. So this is now the first personal sound. Remember that was an R. Let's check it. <sighs> Perfect. That was my R sample. Let's select the second personal sound. You remember that was the door. Let's check it. Perfect. That was my door sample. Now go to bank B and select the next sample which you uploaded. So this is now the first personal sample from bank A. Remember that was a gong. So let's hear it. Okay, that was my gong. Take the next sound. That would be the splash symbol. Now I showed you how you can upload and check your own samples. Okay, now we are ready to discuss the loop station. So this pedal has in the middle of the control surface a loop station built in. This is this one knob. And what does a loop station do? So you can record a phrase and it will be endless repeated. So later we will see how we do this. First here a little demonstration what happens if a phrase is into a loop. So let's see what happens. So now I'm not playing. The pedal has recorded the phrase and it's in an endless repetition. So this is a loop basically. Now I'm going to show you how to control this loop. There are some functions. At first you have to turn the loop on. This is why pressing the first time the loop pedal. Now the light is blinking in red. That means attention something will happen if you press one more time. What happens? It will be this red color. This red color means it's in record mode. So the first recording which you are going to do. So if I press now one more time the switch, it starts recording. For this reason, I have prepared a track which I'm going to play. Before you start to record something with the loop station, it's always good to be prepared. I have the sound selected on the quantum loop for the kick, for the snare, my guitar is in tune, I know the first riff, the bass line, everything, I have the timing in my head, so now I'm able to start, because if you make it for the beginning too fast, it could happen that the loop is not very well sounding. Okay, everything is prepared, I know the starting point, I press now, while I'm starting playing, and at the end I press one more time and it will go into the play mode. So you will hear this loop. So let's start. My riff. Okay, I'm ready. So one, two, three, four. So you see, I press the first time the pedal, it starts to blinking. Then I press one more time, it starts recording. At the last time, if you're ready, you press. The lights is changing, now it's in blue. Blue means you are in the play mode, so you hear the loop playing. If you want to stop the loop, you make a double click. 
So now, what happens? You stop the loop. Great. You see, the light is now blinking one more time. It's in blue, that means the loop is activated. If I press one more time, it's the same thing, but the light color is changing. It's blue, that means something will happen, attention. I press one more time, it will be play because blue, the color blue. So let's see if it's right. Yeah, we are in play mode. Okay, so you have now start, stop and recording. These are basically all things which you can do and control a loop station with. If I press one more time, it starts recording. This recording process called layering and the recorded part called overdub. So let's see what happens if I press now at the end of the phrase the pedal. The colors changing, it's purple. So what happens? The color was changing in purple, that means it starts recording one more time on top of the basic recording which you already done. What you are hearing is an overdub and what I did was in recording on top of my bass. I started it with pressing one more time the switch and at the end of the phrase I switch it one more time. But I think that recording was not good. What happens now? Well, now I have to remove this phrase. This is another control idea. You hit the pedal and hold it now. Let's see what happens. I hold the pedal now, wait until the end of the phrase. And the last recording is removed. So, recap all information. I press one more time, it blinks purple. What happens, it's making a new recording on top of our basic recording. This new stuff called overdub. We're going to record now a few things, a hi-hat, you heard the kick drum and the bass line. Now one more time, I record it once again, a bit more clear, and then I'm showing you another way how you can remove stuff. Let's see one more time. I push the pedal and let's start. And go. Okay, now the hi-hat. Now the kick drum. I'm ready. I press one more time the switch. Now it's blue, that means it is in play mode. So I can remove the phrase while holding the paddle down. At the end of the phrase it will be removed. We already knew this. But I can also bring it back from this not heard part. So if I press and hold it one more time, it comes back. This is the idea of having the last recording, the last overdub removed. The whole idea called remove control process. Now, what is the cool idea of looping? You can basically make your own band at home without having a complete band. So now I can make basically a solo over it or I can sing. Because I play guitar, I make a little solo on top of it. But at first I remove the last phrase. Let's see what happens. Now I am play mode, first recording and start my solo. Let's see. Have some fun. Press and hold the pedal and everything comes back. If you're ready, you make the double tap to be end everything. And I press G to stop everything. So, if you are done with everything, the loop is stopped. You can delete the information while it stops and you hold the pedal. So now, you see the color is red. 
So if you one more time start everything, it's from the beginning, from the scratch. So this is the loop station.